check and make sure the patient's hands are warm. If they're not warm, get your patient to run them under warm running until they do become warm. Do is clean the, the finger. So I've just used some alcohol and allowed that to air dry. Use the lancet to prick the finger and then apply a very thin smear of Vaseline on the finger to provide droplet formation. Wipe the first few drops away and then apply a thin smear of Vaseline. Pressure behind the patient's finger and then in a milking action squeeze towards the top of the finger. Let the capillary fill and squeeze again. It's really important that you don't try and rush this procedure. You have to let the capillary fill and then squeeze. If you just continually squeeze the finger, you'll restrict the blood flow and you won't get any blood. It's also important to remember that if you are using an EDTA tube, it needs to be collected first in the order of draw. And we actually need to use two EDTA tubes, half fill one, Bert, and then grab your new one it is important that we collect EDTA in first in order of draw with all capillary collections. This is to ensure that the blood does not clot. We do this because the initial blood flow is the greatest. If the doctor has ordered a full blood count, we will need to fill the EDTA to 250, put the lid on and invert. Start your other tube, collect that one to 250 and invert also. If additional blood is required, we then top up the first tube and the second tube. Remember to, in remember to invert at both stages. We collect two tubes and half fill them, ensuring that we invert and mix the blood during the procedure. This is to prevent any microclots forming. If you do see any clots forming, you'll need to discard the tube and start the collection all over again. This is what a clot may look like in an EDTA. The blood will not flow. When you invert the tubes, the blood should be free flowing. So if the blood is not free flowing and you see some lumps, you know that the sample has clotted. Each tube has a fill line and you must fill the tube to that particular line. The lab cannot get a result of only a few drops of blood. They need a minimum of one mil of whole blood and more depending on the tests ordered. It is important that before you even start the procedure that you Find the laboratory and find out exactly how many mils of blood you'll need. This is an example of an unsatisfactory sample. It is only half full and the lab will not be able to process this result. This is a completely filled SST. The micro containers come with a collection scoop. This is to help the collector get the blood into the tube. It is important that once you have filled the tube, you remove this scoop and replace it with a lid so that the blood does not spill when it's in transport. Once we finish the procedure, it's important to discard your lancet in the sharp spin. Although it is a self-retracting lancet, it is still considered a sharp. 